Today I'm headed to meet Tim, whose dad, Blue, lived in an old dance hall in the middle of nowhere, Kansas. He was a custom bike builder who had a passion for knuckleheads and music. Hello! <laughs> Walking into this place, it has a total vibe. Hey, you Tim? How you doing? Hey man, I'm Mike. Tim Black. This place is awesome. Really high ceilings, huge dance floor, balcony all the way around. Built 1934. Okay, here, let me give you one of these. Wow. The ballroom, they had wrestling matches, boxing matches, live bands. So do you know about any of the artists that played here? I think the largest was Bob Wills and the Texas Playboy. No kidding. They'd have five to 600 people on this dance floor when wow. they played, yeah. Imagine Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys on stage here. He's destroying a fiddle and there's 600 people on the dance floor honky tonking and tearing it up. American Roots music grew out of places like this. Danny said Blue lived in here? That oh, was yeah. his name, Blue? Oh yeah, there's an apartment upstairs. Oh, okay. Actually, my brother-in-law's up there cleaning right now. Hey, BJ! Yeah! <laughs> you doing some digging? Yeah. Right. yeah. What's going on, man? <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, I'm Mike. He's, hey, I'm BJ. Nice to meet you, yeah, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. Blue collected all his life. Anything that he found an interest in, he grabbed onto it. Most of the bike parts are over here. He never got rid of anything. Never. Wait, 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 this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at a paint job on that. <laughs> blue to the bone. I like that, that's cool. <laughs> Born to be blue. Okay, so blue was obviously his nickname. Yep, that was yep. his biker nickname. Where did he get that? Dad rode two knuckleheads. They were his babies. I don't know why he painted the bikes blue, but once the bikes were blue, he was blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool kind of played along with his love for blues music, and then later on with his blue drinks that he drank, he was just blue to everybody. No way! <laughs> Dad would lead the a toy blue run, Santa. You know? Oh, he was Santa leading the parade? Yeah. Oh, the, for like the Toys for toys Tots? For, yeah. No way. And we even started calling him blue. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got back here? All right, what's this here? Oh yeah, here, easy rider. So this is his bike? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the 39. In 1969, the movie Easy Rider came out. It had Jack Nicholson in it, Dennis Hopper, Peter Fonda. It was huge. And two years later, in 1971, Lou Kimsey, Mill Blair, and Joe Terezi created Easy Rider magazine. The movie brought the chopper scene to the masses, but it was really the magazine that celebrated the lifestyle and the culture. He was really proud of Easy Rider's top 300. Oh, really? Old Blue made top No kidding? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Easy Rider magazine was successful because it was real. It was true to the biker community to have your bike on the cover of that, and then to be on the list of the top 300 custom bikes that ever graced that magazine, that was some serious street cred. Did he build this bike? Did you see this bike together? Yeah, I think that was one of the early versions of his 39. Old Blue went through so many phases. Back then, it wasn't about, it's gotta be dirty and original. He was all about the show bikes and customization. And I think all those parts were on Old Blue at one point. Knuckles forever. <laughs> so you could actually, no kidding, you could build a bike out of these. These are knuckle tanks. If you look at the width there from the petcock down here mm -hmm. into this tab, uh -huh. how close it is. These are 47 knuckle tanks. These are hard tanks to find. Would you sell these tanks in this fender? Yeah. Um, Custom paint job. Yeah, that's right. I know, yeah, I, love, right. I, love, I love that. I, I really do love the paint job. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious, they're cool. This is the beginning of him customizing a bike. The light blue with the dark blue flame, knuckles forever. This is like his early work. It's primitive, it's raw, it's full of emotion. 1,200 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. It's like motorcycle folk art from an outside artist. I mean, this is blue to the bone, to the marrow. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.